Influential and famous director Werner Herzog has a new documentary out on Apple TV, Fireball, Visitors from Darker Worlds. Is it any good? Should you watch it? Should you subscribe to Apple TV to see it? Let me tell you about it and answer those questions coming up next. Fireball by Werner Herzog is a late 2020 documentary about meteorites, space rocks coming to Earth. And Herzog goes all over the world to think about them, talk about them, shoot images of them. Meteorites, what do they mean? What do they tell us about who we are and where we came from? This is a movie about everything. It's cosmic in scope. It's about at once the origins of the Earth, the origins of human life, and where we're going and how we could be destroyed by meteorites or space rocks. The movie is an exploration about scientific discoveries about meteorites, the cultural impact of meteorites, what they look like when they come down, what they mean or they tell us about you know, the origins of the solar system. And in general, this is a typical sort of Herzog production in, in that he wants to generate awe and wonder and terror all at once. These are emotions or feelings he's trying to give you, the viewer. And to generate that in you, he goes from South America to North America to Australia to Asia to Europe to Antarctica. He covers all of the continents. Now Herzog's interested in you know the classic or the greatest meteorite strike of all on the Yucatan Peninsula, which wiped out the dinosaurs. He does go to the Yucatan in Mexico to you know look at that to sort it all out he goes to a crater in australia though and then talks to an aboriginal woman uh, he goes to talk to researchers in hawaii who are looking for objects in space that might hit the earth and he considers what it would be like if a meteorite hit the earth in, right now in circa 2020 uh, or what it would be like to discover that there's one coming towards the earth so he talks about that too and there's a lot of you know fodder in this movie for those who like cosmology or geology or interested in culture period and this is probably visually and sonically one of herzog's best movies visually speaking the camera that he uses he's using a lot of different cameras but they're amazing the drone cameras the handheld cameras fabulous fabulous looking movie great music in this as well so this overall is a quite a good aesthetic experience and that's of course what makes Herzog better even a lot better than BBC PBS documentaries which you've probably seen documentaries talking about space space rocks meteorites asteroids and you know what they're like so that sort of thing is going to be here but Herzog takes it to another level as far as the aesthetic experience goes. I found that this played a lot like Herzog's other documentaries. It's sort of a greatest hit even of his other documentaries, which have been about volcanoes and Antarctica and ancient caves and, you know, a numerous other things, men confronting grizzly bears. And then he uses similar techniques in this movie. You know, he goes to Antarctica. Well, he's made his Antarctica documentary. He goes to craters that, you know, where volcanoes are. Well, he's made his volcano movie. And he really hones in on human faces here, looking at the weird, the interesting people you can find on camera. And he just highlights them, which he's done in both his documentary and his feature films. So as a first Herzog movie, this would be a good experience for people to get into any Herzog. Um, but if you've seen a lot of Herzog like me, it'll feel like, oh, he's redoing some things and sort of mashing up some of his techniques and ideas throughout his career here. And also to call this a greatest hits movie, it does feel like a greatest hits album where you, you bring together a lot of good things, but they're not quite unified. This is not a great unified experience, probably because the vision here is so humongous, cosmic and global. It would be hard to unify all the parts of this movie, but there's a couple of space I thought were slow or could be deleted, or I wasn't sure about the order of events, the order of interviews in this movie. So it may not feel like a total experience to you. And yet, if you're interested in cosmology, geology, human culture, dance, visuals, uh, the art of film itself, this is, a, this is quite a good movie to look at. And I'm interested to show this to my little kids interested in rocks and minerals and space. And I think they'll get something, even 
quite a lot out of this movie. In fact, I would call this a worshipful movie. This movie tries to generate a quasi-religious experience. Not only does he go to different religions, he shows Mecca and you know Muslim worshipers looking at the presumed asteroid at the center of Mecca, but also you know a Jesuit priest and, and other people like that. He goes to Hindu temple. But also just the awe and the mystery of this movie generated should leave one humble and bowing down to something, whether it's the great god mystery itself. But you should feel what Herzog has talked about in other documentaries, the idea that humans are born to worship. We are homo spiritualis, not necessarily homo sapiens. We don't know everything. In fact, we don't know that much. Herzog is definitely a man of science here. He encourages you to create science, to do science, but also that mystery is this vast, huge thing, and science only knows a teeny, tiny little bit about reality and about origins. So this, to me, is a really interesting movie from a man who I don't think he's religious himself in terms of being a formally religious person, and yet... This movie is is just that, I think. Last, this movie showed me something about Herzog I had not thought about before. I've seen 20-some of his movies. Herzog wants to encourage all of us to be creators and polymaths. And that actually comes up in this movie to be knowledgeable about a wide range of disciplines and to blend those disciplines together and become a creator and an artist and a scientist. In fact, to be an artist and a scientist together and not separate those two things is what one thing that Herzog argues for here. At one point in time, he, he interviews a guy who he says, you could listen to him for eight hours and you wouldn't be bored. And he's one of the last remaining polymaths in the world. Well, there are a few others in this movie. The Jesuit priest who's interested in both religion and science. As well, there's a Norwegian jazz musician who invents, this documentary claims, a whole new branch of science. So you've got a musician who loves science. And the movie itself, Herzog himself, is encouraging being a polymath, blending together knowledge of cosmology, geology, biology, art, dance, visuals, all of these things coming together in this movie, both in terms of its content and its form, this movie is encouraging people to know more about creation itself and then to do more with it in terms of not just being a narrow expert, but to know a lot about a lot. And then you can be a creator, almost pun intended, like the meteorites that strike Earth every now and then and reshape it and reform it. That's sort of what Kurtzog wants to do, and there's a big visual pun, the spark of creativity You'll see lots of sparks in this movie and fires. Obviously, the movie's titled, titled Fireball. Uh, the spark of creativity that Herzog is trying to generate in you shows up in this movie. So that's one thing I appreciate about it. And now that I look at all of Herzog's films, I think he's been encouraging being a polymath throughout his film career. So I'm grateful for this film's insight on that. My judgment of this is that I like this better upon reflection. So I'm going to give it three and a half to four stars. I think it's well worth watching. I wouldn't necessarily go out and subscribe to Apple TV for how much they're charging, but get a free trial, a seven-day free trial, and watch this movie, especially if you like Herzog or BBC, PBS documentaries or nature documentaries. I think you will at least appreciate some aspects, some elements of this. I thought this was quite good, not quite on the level of his best documentaries like Grizzly Man. I love that movie, but I think it's just as good as his second-tier stuff, so definitely recommend this movie especially if you know what you're getting into here. Werner Herzog's Fireball, what do you think about it? What questions do you have? Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to this channel for more great content, and thank you. Have a great day.